There's another mineable coin out there called Ergo. What exactly is this coin and how can you mine it? Let's find out on that Ticko Guy. Okay, so another mineable coin is called Ergo. And a bit of background on Ergo, we can see here that the Ergo platform aims to provide an efficient, secure and easy way to implement financial contracts that will be useful and survivable in the long term. Ergo describes itself as a self-amendable protocol that reportedly allows it to absorb new ideas and improve itself in a decentralized manner. That's basically Ergo and the current price at the moment is at 80 euros and 89 cents. So that's around $10, maybe slightly more than 10 US dollars. Its current ranking on coin market cap is at 129. So if we go to the Ergo website, here we can see that the Ergo mining is based on Autolycus version two. Now the version two will be a hard fork. So Ergo will have a hardening protocol upgrade on block number 417,792. And this upgrade introducing breaking changes where non-outsourceability will be switched off. After the hard fork, the new proof of work called Auto Lycos version two will support traditional mining pools. Basically, there are a couple of pools that you can mine on to mine Ergo. Uh, there is Triple Six Pool, Nano Pool, Hero Miners, and Woolly Pool. I personally like to normally mine on either Hero Miners, Woolly Pooly, or Nano Pool. Nano Pool is one of the largest pools there are out there as well. Woolly Pooly is pretty cool as well. The miner that I like to use for this is NB Miner, but you can also use other miners such as, for example, Team Red Miner, or SRB Miner Multi, or Nano Miner as well. Team Red Miner is great for people using AMD cards as well. MB Miner supports both NVIDIA and AMD, so you can pretty much pick one of the miners you like best here. There is also NV Miner and AMD Miner. So there's NVIDIA Miner and AMD Miner. If we go to read more about mining, and I'll put all the links down below. So here there is the NVIDIA Miner and the AMD Miner as well. Now, if you click on, for example, NVIDIA Miner or AMD, it doesn't really make a difference. When you get to download this, you can download for either Linux or you can download for your Windows PC. If you do download the Windows uh, version, inside the extractable zip folder, there is a Mac OS X as well. So you can actually mine this on your Mac OS X. X as well. Going back to the website here, I'm going to use NB Miner for the purpose of this tutorial. If you click on NB Miner, it will take you to the GitHub site where you can download the latest version of NB Miner, which at the time of this video is version 37.6. You can download either the Linux version or the Windows version. Now I've already downloaded my Windows version of NB Miner and I've placed it in my folder here. Again, it is important that I emphasize that you exclude your mining folders and your download folders from your antivirus. I also do not recommend that you mine on a system or on a PC that has personal data on it for the reasons that you are allowing the miners to go through your antivirus. So at the end of the day, you're allowing the miner to potentially do anything at once on your system. Once you've downloaded MB Miner and you've extracted it in your folder, you will have something that looks like this. This is the file structure of it. And you will have one of the BAT files, which is called Start Ergo. You can also mine, obviously, Conflux or Beam or AE, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Green32, Raven. These are pretty much ready-made batch files. All you need to do is just change your wallet address and worker name, and you're up and running. So I'm going to edit Start Ergo in this case. Right-click the file and just go to Edit. And here you have everything already populated. What you need to change here is your wallet address, your worker name, and obviously if you don't want to mine on Hero Miners on the Hong Kong server, you would change this as well. I'm going to be mining on Nano Pool. Just to give you a quick short demonstration of Woolly Pool as well, what's cool about this is that if you search for Ergo and you click on Connection, 
here you can actually choose if you want to mine PPLNS or solo. PPLNS is obviously mining in a pool, solo is mining on your own, which is much harder to get a block if you ever do find a block on your own. But if you do, the rewards obviously going to be bigger. So I'm going to do a pool, for example, deselect your region. In my case, it's going to be Europe. My miner is going to be, in my case, MB miner. Here you can paste your wallet address, which I have already copied, and mine is there. Here you can enter, for example, your worker name, and I'll just put that in as Teco Guy. And after I've entered my worker name, here it gives you the code. So you can actually just copy all of this, paste it into MB Miner, and you'll be up and running and you won't need to do anything else. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, so I've shown you how you can do this with woolly pulley really quickly as well and this is really a cool feature because it just really gives you the the code itself so just fill this in pretty much so if i copy this here i could actually just paste that in here and i'm up and running straight away now for nano pool it's a bit different because you go to the website you so you go to ergo.nanopool.org and here it gives you the host if you're going to mine in Europe, you'd use these two servers, one of these two servers, USA, one of those two, or any other if you're based in, for example, Australia, Japan, or Asia. Port, and I normally use the normal port and not the SSL one, so I'm just going to use 1111. So what I would do here is I would copy the Europe server in my case, because that is closest to me, and I would change this from hkergo.hero-minus.com and I would paste that there. The port here is five ones, so one, 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 one. My wallet address, which I have already copied here, just paste that there. And then after the dot, make sure that the dot is still there. Where there's default, that is the worker name. And the worker name, I'm going to put in Teco Guy. Now, obviously, you would need to get your wallet address. So now to get a wallet address, from coin market cap here it tells you where this coin can be traded so it's on gate.io probit exchange and coinex i'm using coinex at the moment for this so if you open a coinex account you don't even need identification i mean there's a, a limited withdrawal limit if you don't uh, verify your identity but you can just create an account here and just open up an account i've opened up a, a an empty account okay and then when you've opened up the account and you've logged into your account, all you would need to do is go to assets and just go to spot account, or you can just go to deposit straight away. So if you go to spot account, which is the page I'm on at the moment, here you can search for the coin. In this case, it's Ergo. And then you just click on deposit here on the side. So you can deposit and here it's going to give you your wallet address and this is the wallet address that i have put in to my script right here as well okay and dash log that's so it creates a log and that's very important because if something goes wrong you can actually check the log to see what went wrong now the system i am using has a old gtx 970 something i want to mention is that you can mine ergo on a video card with four gigabytes VRAM and even less. A two gigabyte may work as well, but once it's hard forked and upgraded to the version two algorithm, you'll need at least 2.5 gigabytes. So a three gigabyte or a four gigabyte VRAM graphics card will be just fine for this. For now, this is not available on Unminable. Hopefully, Unminable, if you're watching this, you can put this out there as well on Unminable, and that would be great for all miners out there as well as a form of payout. Now, once this is done, I'm just going to basically save this. Very easy. Just save it. I'm going to open the folder, and I can just run the batch file straight away, and I'll start mining. Now, hopefully, I won't get any lag. Mine's not going to work because my video card is not supported on this algorithm because it is quite old. Even though I do have four gigabytes of VRAM, it's still not supported on this algorithm. So I'm just going to start this up. It's going to start and then I'm going, going to get an error right there. And here it created the folder logs, which is the dash logs that we saw in the script. If you open this up and I open the log file up, here I can see what happened. So here it's trying to mine on my NVIDIA GTX 670, which has four gigabytes. 
it logged into the pool, login succeeded, but what happens here? Algorithm ergo not supported on device NVIDIA GTX 670. Now I have tried this on my other mining rig, which obviously I have the RTX series cards and I have the, the, the recent video cards. It also works on the GTX 1070s as well. This is just because it is an extremely older card that this algorithm is not supported on. The log file here is important. Check this out. If you have issues here, it will detail exactly what the issue is. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Do let me know down in the comments below what you think about this coin. If you are mining this coin, what hardware you're using to mine this coin. And if you have any issues whatsoever, let me know and I will do my best to help you out as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, it's free. Just hit the big red button subscribe down below and you'll be notified when new videos come out. Obviously, make sure to hit the notification bell as well to be notified immediately when new videos do come out. Hit the like button, take very good care of yourselves and until next time, thanks for watching.